Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. And if you are interested in a personal reading, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all all right oh man libra you are manifesting level ups in your life i'm hearing new heights so libra you are reaching new heights here within your career within your finances so we have a woman holding a coin this could be you or this could be somebody in your energy someone who you're dealing with someone who's very financially stable here okay uh, i'm hearing don't give up all right so ten of wands as your overall um energy and your advice which is don't give up on what you've already been manifesting on what you're capable of so i feel like libra you you know what you're capable of but when when it comes to setbacks this is something that maybe puts doubt in you or you start to compare yourself but no things are about to take off for you very soon very quickly here i feel like you're creating very quick changes ten of pentacles you are creating something long term you're built you are manifesting a legacy here where you can have a lot of stability in your home life in your family life i see some of you really spending a lot more time with your family and loved ones so showing family more love and you're taking back your power with this yin and yang energy i feel like you are using um you are using both your yin and your yang both the ma feminine and masculine aspects of yourself to to create your victory here you are literally reaching new heights i am i am picking up delays though so there are some sort of delays when it comes to good news um, or some of you, you've been kind of waiting on some sort of action from somebody and you haven't heard anything, you haven't um, seen anything happen, hangman. So interesting. Somebody has been kind of in this limbo or on the fence about whether or not to make a move. King of Cups could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but I'm also seeing Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Um, but this is somebody who does have deep emotions for you. But they're looking at things from a different perspective. They've been trying to gain some sort of enlightenment here about whether or not to make some sort of move. But I definitely feel like you are releasing and letting go what's what's already happened right so these three cups that have fallen over it's like you're looking at it and you're allowing it to just be what it is some of you are grieving a loss or some of you are maybe feeling a little bit upset or guilty about something but this is something that is this is something that ultimately changes life is always changing and i feel like you know that i feel like you are open to to the positives here and I feel like you are moving forward in your life regardless even if it is even if it has been very difficult for you to do that okay ace of cups you're opening up your heart um, and showing yourself love as well balancing out your emotions so angel of balance and Libra, you are the scales. So I feel like 
you are really focused on creating more balance in your life, creating more balance with your emotions and your thoughts. So the way that you perceive a situation, balance with the positive and the negative. So especially with this yin and yang there, like I really feel like you are tapping into both both aspects, the the positive and the negative, the, the shadow and the light here. Clarify this five of swords, two of cups. Interesting. Oh yeah, interesting. So you see how we have these two cups behind you? And your intentions is the two of cups here. So I feel like your intentions is to open up to the idea of maybe a new partnership coming into your life or the idea of possibly mending a, an existing partnership in your life here. But it, it feels like I'm hearing confrontation. I feel like some of you are wanting to confront a situation head on here. Like getting to the the truth of it all, getting to getting right in the middle of a situation to bring more light or clarity here. So yeah, I feel like Libras, especially Libras are not the best when it comes to confronting situations because Libras want to keep the peace and keep the balance. But I feel like this time around, it's like you're not going to compromise your, your peace to just to bring peace to another person. It's like, no, you're confronting a situation for um, what they did to you, how they made you feel, what they said. I'm hearing solutions. So you're looking at a situation from a, a, like a solution, finding finding the, the problem or bringing the problem to light in order to find a solution here. Ooh, Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. But I definitely see you, your actions is like moving towards new doors, new opportunities, new financial opportunities, new businesses, um, meeting new people in your life, new friendships. Because, yeah, I feel like up until now, things maybe have felt like disappointing to you. Okay, so someone is in like utter shock here. The tower surrounding you. Somebody is in some sort of like upheaval. Or surprise interesting this is somebody who you may see as um, someone who does get a lot of attention somebody who does um, I'm almost getting this energy of like obsessed with themselves someone is like very obsessed with themselves but I feel like this is somebody who's been holding back or has been defensive when it comes to any any um, communication here okay so let's take a look at this person king of swords this is somebody who has been um acting cold or detached but i do see this is somebody who's been thinking about something in regards to you um so yeah why the king of swords I'm picking up this is somebody who's like a workaholic. I'm getting the King of Pentacles also. This is somebody who is like either putting their finances or business first right now. Uh, Two of Swords. There could have been some sort of uh, stalemate. But I feel like this person has been going back and forth with a decision here. And I feel like it has to do with like either like this or that. Like work or uh, family. Because I'm seeing in this person's energy, uh, this person is thinking a lot about family. Or they're very close to their family here. There could be... There could be family involved in this situation. 
Okay. So they're looking at you as the page of pentacles. This person is seeing you Libra as, um, maybe wanting a new opportunity or exploring new opportunities in your life right now. Oh, King of Swords, oh, Queen of Swords. That's yeah, that's you Libra. But also they're also viewing you as like, like your back is turned. Like you've turned your back on them because both these people are looking this way. And I feel like it's just you creating boundaries or speaking your truth here. Like not tiptoeing over a situation, but like being real honest. It's interesting because their intentions with you is the Knight of Cups. Um, but reversed. So I feel like this person wants to come forward and express how they really feel but there's like a block here the hierophant okay i feel like this person is waiting for something to change first their intentions with the hierophant as well is like i see this person as Wanting to uh, come towards you more traditional. Two of Swords reversed as their actions is like making a decision. Coming to, to, to a decision here. They're making a decision about whether or not to come forward. Ace of Cups though. Okay, so this King of Swords wants to open up to you emotionally, but it's it's delayed, or their their actions are are delayed because their focus may be on on something completely different on their finances. But this is them wanting to open up to you. And this is somebody who maybe even thinks about you as somebody who they do want to have a family with. Or this could be a family member for some of you who has been acting distant. The thinking man. Definitely strong masculine energy surrounding you. So yeah, this person has been thinking, thinking fourth chakra about their, their heart person has been thinking about how they how they feel and it looks like they're wanting to open up their heart to you okay but aside from that Libra like you are reaching new heights and you do have a victory in regards to your work and your career here especially if you are this woman holding a coin you are a feminine watching this um, if you're masculine, you could be coming towards a, a woman who is very financially stable, who matches up to your success. But you do have a victory. You do have a victory here. But it's important not to, um, I'm hearing psych yourself out. So nine of swords, like stressing, stressing about, uh, about it. The what if, the what could have, the what should have. It's important to try to keep your stress levels low here, but you are coming towards the end of a stressful cycle, okay? You're very close here. And Spirit is saying, don't give up. You are closer than you think towards this victory. Closer than you think here. Okay, Ace of Swords. A breakthrough, yeah, you do have a breakthrough. You have a victory. This is um, clarity. There is some sort of clarity coming in here. A conversation that somebody has has been uh, uh, stressed about. Also, clarity in regards to like fears. Somebody expressing their fears. Knight of Pentacles. You do have 
Mm, I'm seeing uh, a commitment. I see you moving forward towards your victory, towards some sort of validation coming in. But it definitely looks like it's it's moving slowly but consistently. All right. And the Hierophant, again, the bottom of a deck. This is, um, you may be receiving communication from a guide, guru, teacher that kind of leads you towards the right way, the right direction. Tell me about this victory for Libra. Woman holding a heart. Victory in regards to your love and finances. But this is also, this is like a victory in regards to something that you've been um, wanting emotionally, something that you've been wanting from your heart. Third chakra, your solar plexus. So this is connected to your... This is connected to your confidence, your strength, your power, your core. And I see like a new level of confidence in yourself, Libra. A new level of confidence in yourself where it's like you're going to look back and be like, why was I even stressing? I didn't have to stress so much, <laughs> you know? We tend to do that sometimes. I feel like a lot of us Libras are overthinkers. But anyways, I'm seeing the numbers 22, 4, 48, 28, 42. Those numbers, they could be related to birthdays or special days. I'm seeing the letters Y, H, F, A, B, O, V, C. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. With that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.